this marvelous story was about a little old guy who lived outside the village somewhere in Europe, and he had a son and a white horse, a magnificent white horse. And this white horse was just desired by kings because it was so beautiful. And they would come and they were offering large sums of money and say, let us buy your white horse. And the old man would say, no, I'm sorry. The white horse is not for sale. The horse is my friend. I cannot sell him. And the villagers would come to him and say, you're a stupid old man. You should sell the horse. Take the money and buy a bigger ranch and move to the city and live like royalty. The old man said, no, I cannot sell my horse. One morning the old man woke up and the horse was gone. He ran away. And the villagers all come running out to the farm and they said to the little old man, you see, we told you, you should have sold your horse. What a terrible thing has happened. He has run away and now you have nothing. And the old man looked at him and said, I don't know that a terrible thing has happened. All I know is that he's not here this morning. And the villagers went away shaking their head. About a week later, the white horse returned, and he brought back six others with him from the mountains. And the villagers ran out to his ranch, and they said, You were right, old man. You were right all along. It wasn't bad that your white horse ran away. It was good, because he brought back more horses, and now you can train these horses and sell them. And the old man said, I don't know if that is good or not. All I know is he was gone and he is back and he has brought more horses with him. And his young son began to help him as about, you know, a boy about 16, 17, 18 years of age. He began to help him break the horses, these six horses that had come back with the big white horse. And the boy was thrown off one of the horses and broke both of his legs. And once again, the villagers ran out to his ranch and they said to him, you were right again, old man. You were always right. It was not a good thing that the horse brought the six other horses back because now your only son has both his legs broken and he can be of no value to you. It is a tragedy. The old man said, I don't know that it is a tragedy. He said, all I know is that the horse ran away and he came home with other horses and now my son's legs are broken. I don't know that it's a tragedy. And about two weeks later, the small country in which they lived went to war against a much larger nation. And the soldiers came through the, through the countryside gathering all able-bodied young men out of the villages to go fight this losing war at the boundary. Every young man who went into this army knew he was going to die. But the old man's son had two broken legs. He couldn't go. And once again, the villagers ran out to his place and they said to him, You were right, old man. It was not a bad thing. We are going to lose all our sons and yet you have yours because his legs are broken. And the old man said, I don't know that that's a good thing. He said, I only know that the horse ran away and came back with six more, and my son has had his legs broken and doesn't have to go to war. He said, the judgments, the judgments, the good, the bad, the right and wrong, the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous said very clearly and very precisely we must get rid of all of our old ideas, including our ideas of right and wrong.